Alright, what is up? This is Lil Plays back from Dragon Ball's Universe 2, the closed beta. So today, guys, I'm actually bringing you guys my first ever online session with the homie Ray. Actually, Ray Ray BD. I think that's his full PSN ID. So, uh, yeah, pretty much he just, you know, hit me up on PSN or just on my friends list. And he was like, yo, we should do some online matches, man. I was like, well, shit, this is my first ever time doing online. Might as well do it, you know. I've pretty much gone through the entire campaign mode, did whatever I could to the best of my ability and completed it pretty much 100% with the exception of parallel quests and everything which you have to do that by creating your own room to unlock more and complete that 100% it's just like a pain in the ass with going through it because creating a room uh, you pretty much have to have everybody or at least two people or I think you can actually have one other person you know in the room with you in order for it to actually work and then you can get a ranking and you know the ranking system works and all that stuff it's it's complicated i'm still learning how all this works but pretty much i get my fucking ass destroyed throughout all of these matches i think we did a total of probably like four or five matches and only i think one of them one of them i actually did win i think i got lucky for the most part but it's pretty close in in like a sense of like how the matches went and everything uh you know we got some really good matches in I love playing with this guy, he is absolutely insane with his combo game and everything, especially that he was using like the freezer race, it's just so cool to see another race, you know, fight against him, and me using my tiny little black marshmallow man who, you know, got his ass completely just smushed into the ground, was hilarious as shit, but yeah, just a disclaimer guys, I am not really super competitive in this game, you know, for most fighting games, I'll try my best to learn the mechanics and everything, but definitely with Xenoverse 2, just something about it, I just cannot get like a hold of like I cannot get into the zone and like the right mindset with it so I do get destroyed as you can see right here but uh, you know like I said I'm giving credit like full 100% credit to the player you know my opponent he played fucking out of his mind and did a great job with it and you know over anything I had a hell of a time you know playing with him so here's another match we actually have Majin Slow you know the OG and he decided to opt for uh, a different character Vegeta and I think at this point I was like oh okay I completely forgot I can use other characters myself too so I think in the next coming matches I think I use like Zarbon and Turles or something like that if I remember correctly but uh, this one uh, was a pretty close match um, one of the matches I can't remember which one it was um, you know he's like wrecking me and then I like almost make a comeback and it's just weird because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing throughout this whole entire session i'm just like mashing buttons and like okay um maybe this will work or <laughs> maybe if i do this combo it'll do something i don't know press triangle square forward angle back air i'm like thinking about melee the whole time playing through this like how do i wave dash like how the fuck do i l cancel i want to do run up shine up smash you know some stuff just doesn't work but uh like i said yeah you know there's a lot of mechanics that i'm still trying to learn uh this times four kaioken kamehameha i just bought it from the store recently it was like i think it was all the money i had it was like fifty thousand zen it was insane but the move is actually really fucking good it does like a double attack kind of thing it does like a double hit so pretty much if you hit your opponent the first time it charges up like a second time and it gets it but you'll see me throughout you know the rest of these like matches i'll accidentally lock off of my opponent just because i'm mashing so much and i'm like okay yeah i can do this i can do some stuff but like i said i completely suck ball sack at this and you know he was like saying like i guess he was just trying to be nice to me and we were talking through i guess the friends list or whatever and like dms and he was like yeah you're pretty good man and i was like what thanks for making me feel better i do appreciate it but no i acknowledge you know on my own that i am pretty shit at this game but over anything you know it's so fun to actually be playing with the other human being and not just the cpus i could definitely say that you know the cpus in this game are much better than they were you know you know in the original xenoverse but overall uh you know just playing against another you know human being is always going to be the best thing so once again i'm doing another match here uh with you know my custom character and i think we only we actually didn't do too many matches with our custom characters like versus each other i think he mainly used a lot of the uh you know default like characters that you can use in the beta so far so it's really cool to be fighting in the tree of might you know i think this is the first time uh, ever like for the online sessions that I ever got into the tree of might so it's super cool to see the environment of this area like look at all those fucking trees and shit and like the fog on the bottom like it's insane so um yeah if you guys didn't already notice I'm doing post commentary on this and that's why I'm kind of just like going off topic a lot here that's why I feel in my opinion post commentary for me doesn't work out too well um you know I do get some nice reactions if you know I wasn't really paying, att paying attention the first time playing through it 
But I feel like uh, live commentary is always going to be the best for me. I always get, you know, the best reactions, and it just seems, you know, more viable and more uh, just realistic in a sense. But this, you know, it's not too bad. Uh, you know, just sitting here watching some of the gameplay and kind of learning over anything. I feel that this is something that you guys have to experience for yourself uh, when playing through this. Definitely when the open beta comes out, you guys can try it out for yourself. But holy shit, I'm almost dead here. Wait, what do I even do? Is this the one where I kind of make a comeback? I think this might be the match because this part of the video... Yeah, okay, so I grab him and then I just... I don't know what I do. I do some kind of combo and I have like a pixel of health. Here, hold on. I gotta check this shit out for myself. What did I actually do? I'm like mashing and shit, so... Something happens to where I actually do some like big damage. What am I... What the fuck am I doing? I don't know where I'm going. Okay. So we got that little combo going on here. Okay, all right. Okay. So we're do we're putting a little bit of work here. I don't even remember doing this. And then yeah, there's the times four Kaioken Kamehameha. That move is fucking broken as shit if you actually get the damage down. But look at that. Like I am refusing to die. I don't know why. So yeah, I did make a, a little bit of a mini comeback right there. Uh, very surprised that I did that. I don't even remember me like doing some some type of like actual combo. But this was the match right here, which. I think this is probably my favorite match out of all of them because it really shows the combo capabilities and how hit detection is so much better in this game and the improvements of everything and it just really shows, you know, how good he is, you know. Ray, you're fucking amazing. Just I just want you to watch this like yourself. If you're watching this video, man, just look at how good you are because he does some crazy like insane combos and i notice over anything if you lose your stamina if your stamina is completely drained you're pretty much fucked <laughs> like you are fucked by the end of the match because you cannot do anything um like i said there's still like a huge learning process that i need to go through in order to get you know a grasp of this game and learn you know everything all the little mechanics and like little things and kind of just channel all that so as you can see my stamina got completely just broken it's it's gone it's not even existent anymore so you know i just get completely fucked up by him see i even try to guard <laughs> i try to guard because i'm like okay maybe maybe this will help me but then he breaks through that but look at that combo oh my god and then the kamehameha wave that's so sick that is so fucking dope like i absolutely love you know just watching the online uh matches and everything i feel like it's the best way to learn about this game and I don't know what I, why I decided to go for the fucking ultimate ability. That it's so it's so weird. Like what happens is he uses it by like descending down onto ground, and then he's like, okay, I'll go ahead and try something else. And he's like, oh, do the blast. But uh, yeah, pretty much right here, um, Zarbon, man, he is a underrated character. I think Zarbon and Kid Gohan have probably the best combo capabilities out of any of the characters that I've played so far. Goku, you know, he's pretty standard. He's like the Mario of Dragon Ball Xenoverse or whatever, in a sense, with, like, Smash Bros. Mario is a super well-rounded character. So is Goku. And, uh, you know, I end up, you know, getting fucked up there. But it's really cool to see Zarbon's combos and everything. And this one's pretty cool, too, because we actually get to see a Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan 3 transformation uh, from my opponent because he actually used uh, Kid Goku from GT. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to opt for the homie Turles because Turles is really cool. Once again, I kind of wanted to show off uh, a lot of the new characters in this game more than anything. So, you know, I decided why not do it in this, I guess online session um i know dodoria is a new character i personally have used him probably once throughout the whole time uh since i have unlocked him and i really don't like dodoria at all his fucking combos and the way he like performs in game is not it's not optimal it kind of sucks he's very slow he's sluggish um his combos i don't know they're not to my liking to my preference because i like characters like zarbon and kid gohan that can just go so far in up your ass with combos and just an extreme chain i think zarbon his chain of combos could actually become you know pretty close to being infinite like it goes on for a long time if you can actually get it down and you know get the combo capabilities you know in the right mindset for yourself you can do great things with this man and this part right here i think did he already transform yeah he already transformed to super saiyan so that's just really cool to see uh some super saiyan transformation you know some ssj link oot <laughs> which is my name i don't know why i just said that like i said um it's been hard to really focus on what's really going on uh, recently over these past three days i've just been a zombie playing this game i am at this point i would say i've grown an addiction i absolutely love this shit i cannot wait until the full version comes out i can't wait until next week for the open beta so i can play with you guys 
and I know it's going to be extremely busy with like, you know, like the servers are going to be horrible because, you know, more people are going to be able to access this game other than the closed beta, which was kind of limited, but that was actually pretty sick. A Super Saiyan 3 Super Kamehameha. That is some crazy shit. So here it is, the last final match. Um, this is the one that I actually, I think this is the one that I uh, won. <laughs> I actually beat him. But uh, like I said, I got lucky. And, you know, I think the strategy behind it was that I use a lot of my key attacks, especially my ultimates. I think I use the Super Saiyan, uh, sorry, not Super Saiyan, the Times 4 uh, Kaioken Kamehameha or the final, uh, final Flash. Was it Final Flash or no, my character, he actually had Final Shine. I don't know why I always get that mixed up, but yeah, Final Shine is a crazy good move in this game, and since I was able to transport it over from my you know previous character, I think it worked out pretty well. But right here, um, you know, I'm just trying to really get in. It's super hard because the Freezer race is extremely quick. Like he is so nimble, and he's he's a very lean character, so it's hard to like get a you know good hit detection on him. But you know, with my character being small and fat, I don't know why I decided to go for Majin Buu. Or like the Majin characters um, like I said it's just something that kind of clicked when I first played the beta I was like okay I have to use Majin like I've always wanted to use him before and Majins are definitely uh, one of the slower characters with I'd say their combo game isn't as crazy good but it's still there and there there's the times for uh, Kyle Kim from anime which again it looks so fucking sick so after you use that I think uh, you kind of suffer a little bit of uh, I guess hit lag or like energy lag in a sense but that move right there is actually pretty good because it definitely does a lot of damage, uh, especially if you want to get like a final kill. Definitely use the little uh, like crazy berserk energy blast. I don't even know what it's called. But right here, I think I actually uh, get a couple of combos in here. And then I go for final shine at the very end. I think that's a finisher right here. And that's how I actually won the only match out of like, I think the five or six that we did. But uh, definitely props to you, Ray Ray, uh, BD, or was it HD? I can't even remember. Uh, I'll just call you Ray for now if you're watching this, man. You are fucking amazing in, like, at this game. Your combos are great. Keep it up. I hope to play you again soon. So that's pretty much going to do it. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.